ವರ್ಣಿವೇಶರಮಣೀಯದರ್ಶನ ಮಂದಹಾಸರುಚಿರಾನಂಬುಜ ಪೂಜಿ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೈರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀಘನಶ್ಯಾಂ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ ಭಗವಾನನೀ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಠಾಕೋರ್ ಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸದಗುರು ದೇವನೀ ಜೈ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಆಲ್ ಮೈಟಿ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೌಡ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸದ್ಗುರುಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಮುಕ್ತಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ದಾದಾ ಗುರುಜಿ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಪಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಪಾತ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಆಲ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಡಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಜೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಭಾ ವಿ ಲರ್ನ್ ದ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಇರಡಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೇವಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೇವಾ ಬಟ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ವಚನಾಮೃತ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಸ್ ಚರಿತ್ರ ಅವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಚರಿತ್ರಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಗುರುಜಿ ಸೇ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೇವಾ ಲೆಟ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೇವಾ ನಾಟ್ ಡೌಟ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೇವಾ ದೆನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸತ್ ಸಂಗ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ ಸೇವಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಗ್ರೋ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಡೇ ಬೈ ಡೇ ಇನ್ ದ ಸತ್ ಸಂಗ್ ದೇ ಗ್ರೋ in the satsang day by day with the seva but today we are going to learn uh, something about seva in different perspective we know whatever we know about the seva that is i think on the basic level but today we try to understand how the seva change our mind how the seva change our our thoughts our spiritual life let we start what what will we discuss in this us about 2021 week 2 course first one vachanamrut as we have started from this session like we do not read or do not take the whole vachanamrut in particular course but we are picking some sentences regarding a topic in this us about course and that's why today we are going to take some sentences from different different vachanamrits and that is why in first topic vachanamrit grada second chapter seventh vachanamrit grada middle chapter 25 and also 28 so in this way we are going to learn about the different vachanamrit perspective as well as from kalyan kanika and then we have charitras now first what sri ji mara says about the seva and how it affect our life our spiritual life or we can say our day to day satsang life let us see in the vachanamrut swami narayan hare swami narayan hare if an individual lacks vairagya but affectionately serves a great saint and obediently follows the injunctions of god then god will look upon him through eyes of compassion and think this poor fellow lacks vairagya while lust anger etc are harassing so may all those vicious nature be eradicated then those vicious natures will be eradicated immediately so now this is what the different perspective for the seva now till today we knew about the seva like if we perform this seva then we will get rajipo Rajip of Bhagwan, Rajip of Pujya Guruji, Rajip of all the other Santos and Bhaktos. That's it. 
and with that rajpo we will earn more virtues and more the different things in our life but today as according to this vachanamrut we are trying to match this thing to our life why because sri ji maharaj says here in this vachanamrut if an individual lacks vairagya we know about our own self like we do not have that much vairagya like that of the nansanto as well as like that of the previous devotees the devotees who lived a devoted life at the time of sri ji maharaj we do not have that much vairagya vairagya meaning the total detachment for the worldly things meaning those santos meaning nansanto and the devotees uh, from that time they have such naturally inclination like they do not like any worldly things they do not like worldly talks controversially let we see our own life we do not have that much vairagya why because we like to uh, talk like worldly things we want to know about the worldly things what was happening in the world in many such other way we are engaged more and more in the worldly task whether it may be a uh, social things or maybe financial like your job business etc 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 but we do not have that much vairagya that's final now if we want to acquire the virtues of vairagya what we can do for that we have to like give enough worldly talks worldly things to do our ang- uh, we have to decrease our engagement in worldly uh, with worldly people and in worldly things but we cannot do all these things because we cannot we cannot able to do that and for that sri ji maharaj says instead of acquiring the virtues of vairagya instead of giving up all those things is there any other way while staying in social life while staying in the world uh, and engaging with the other people engaging in other task is there any other way to acquire to get the same result or the same benefit which one has a vairagya meaning a person who already had left everything and one who inclined to give up everything is there any way to get without giving up yes sri ji maharaj says but affectionately serves a great son and obediently follows the injunctions of god that's the only way if we affectionately serve a great son through our mind speech and thought so if we serve in different ways to a great saint then automatically our due to our affection and due to our service will get the spiritual strength and by that we can follow each and every agnyas of bhagwan and ekandik satpurush and if we do these things these only two things first affectionately serves the saint and second one is obediently follows the injunctions of god so if we will do these things then god will look upon us through the eyes of compassion that this poor fellow he he does not have the proper kind of vairagya he lacks the vairagya and many of the vices meaning the lust anger etc etc are harassing him they are making difficulties to, on on his path of liberation even though he tried to please me but still these vices like lust anger greed jealousy these things they are making problem to pleasing me so let me do something by my power but one would think this like let me do some special thing for that due to uh, because uh, by using my divine power and because of that 
And that divine power is nothing but the compassion. That's only called as true power, daya. So with this power, Bhagavan will provide us such an atmosphere, such a uh, such a divine thoughts, so that we automatically uh, can able to remove or eradicate those vicious natures immediately. Yes, this can be done only by affectionately serves a great son. Yes, this souls meaning seva is very easy word to say, but it's not that much easy to perform. Why? Because seva cannot be performed merely by physically. Like if you come to the mandir and you sweep the floor, if you clean the carpet with the vacuum, that's not only the seva. No doubt that can be considered as seva, but that not that only things cannot be considered as seva. That is a part of seva. But the other ways to perform seva as well, according to the scriptures, according to the Vachanamrita, as well as according to Gunajan Swaminivata and many other our scriptures, it is said like seva can be performed with three ways. First one is through word, mind, and deed. Vachane karine, karme karine, ane mane karine. This three way, if we perform the seva of a great ekantik sadpurus, then that's not only the prophet, like Bhagwan would become pleased upon us, the great saint become pleased upon us, or the other santos and bhaktos, they would become pleased upon us. But, moreover, we can get this benefit, meaning without having vairagya in our life, we can get the benefit of having vairagya. Meaning, all our vicious natures, all our vicious thoughts can be removed merely by performing the seva of a great saint. So let me start to perform Ekandik Satpur Seva with the proper affection. Next, in the other Vachnamrut, Vachnamrut Grida Middle Chapter 25th, Sriji Maharaj not says in this Vachnamrut, but Muktanan Swami asks on behalf of us, Muktanan Swami, our Adi Gurudev, he knew about us like after certain and certain years there might be a mass of devotees in my parampara, in Loyadam Parivar. And because of that, Muktanan Swami already had asked on behalf of us to Sriji Maharaj, if one has such strong worldly desires and wishes to eradicate them, by what means can they be eradicated? Now, as we introspected for our own self and we even try to eradicate those vicious natures and bad thoughts through our mind, but we cannot do that. Even though we have tried many ways, but still, after some times, the same thoughts come into our mind, the, the same, same kind of action which is not proper for the duty might be performed by us. Why this happen? We even upset by this because we are a devotee and we want to eradicate those things from our life. But still, we cannot do that. Then Muktanam Swami asks, if one has such strong worldly desires, that's why one cannot easily remove those desires. And he wishes to eradicate them. So by what means can they be eradicated? So is there perfect ways to eradicate those things, worldly desires? Yes, Sriji Maharaj gives solution. Ukakacha's addiction of serving saints, that's the only solution. And in detail, Sriji Maharaj explains, just as Ukakacha has become addicted to serving the sadhus, so if one becomes addicted to serving God and his son, to the extent that one would not be able to stay for even a moment without serving them, then all of the impure desires in one Santakaran will be destroyed. 
So if we want to make our antakaran, meaning our heart pure, then we have to perform the seva. We should think at the time when we are vacuuming the floor, when we are cleaning the mandir, when we are helping the sadhus while performing any particular activity regarding the satsang, we are not like only doing seva. At the time we should think in our mind like I myself also cleaning my heart by performing this seva. So as it is said in this Vachnamrut by Sri Maharaj himself, we should be addicted to the to the seva of Bhagwan and his sadhus. And Sri Maharaj gave an example of Ukakhachar. What was Ukakhachar's routine? We knew about that. Many times we have listened the story of Ukakhachar. But why what's the problem that we cannot understand in our life we cannot be addicted to serving Bhagwan and his sadhus in the same way as Ukakhachar did what is the reason I do, I do not know about that but we everyone we feel in our life that we we are not become addicted to do save our Bhagwan and his sadhus. Sometimes, sometimes maybe it's because of our laziness, sometimes maybe our overthinking, meaning we thought in our mind like, oh, everything, like everyone is not performing so and every day, every time, every Saturday, when I'm in the mandir, I have to do this. And the other bhaktos, they are just sitting, they are just uh, talking with each other. And no one is performing this seva. I have to do this. No, this is not the way. If we do this, uh, if we think in this way, we'll never get any benefit in this satsang. We have to be like a businessman. Businessman always think for his own benefit. He always think in his mind, how I can get more and more money. Just as the artists, just as the skilled workers, and just like yourself, you are performing the same duty in your job, the same work every day at your job place. But still, you are not become boring. Every day you are performing the same duty. Still, you are not boring or you are not thinking in this way. Like, I have to do this every day. But you are performing that. Why? Because by performing those duties, by performing that job, you're getting some money and you have focusing on money, not on your job. And that's why you can perform your job properly. In the same way, Siva is my duty. If I understand in this way, then by understanding this and moreover, just as we are focusing on money, in the same way, if we focus our mind like if I perform the seva of Bhagwan and his santo, then all of my impure desires, these worldly desires will be eradicated. And my antakaran, meaning my mind, my speech, my thought, everything would become pure. And if those things become pure, my heart become pure, Bhagwan would be happily seated in in my heart so this is the way how we should perform the seva and it is the words of Sriji Maharaj himself meaning Bhagavan Swaminarayan's words not the words of any other person in this world so the words of Bhagavan will never be wrong and meaning whether we read it today or tomorrow or yesterday at any time or at any place, it will become true, true and true. So if we act according to those words, if we behave according to those words, then we'll definitely get the benefit. What the benefit, which is said by Sri Maharaj himself, like one Santakaram will be, impure desires in one Santakaram will be destroyed. So if we 
make our antakaran pure then we have to perform the seva not only perform the seva but we have to become uh, addicted just you have seen in 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 your college days or might be right now in present time you might have seen many people who were addicted to the drugs or the other things without taking those things even though they were bad things still without taking those things they cannot live they cannot feel like they, they feel if they do not have taken those things like drugs or something then they were feeling like they lacking something in their life in the same way if we become addicted to perform the seva of bhagwan and his sadhus then because of our addiction of performing seva if any single day laps without the seva then we will feel the same and just as the drug addicted person feel after taking drugs in the same way we are also become as we, we we are also become overjoyed or we at least become pleased within by performing the seva this is the magic of this example we have not tried this in our life and that's why we cannot feel this but if we try to become addicted to do seva then we will feel the same kind of joy the joy which the drug addicted people enjoy in the same way we also enjoy the divinity in our heart the divine bliss of akshardham in this weary life while living not after death but while living in this satsang the mahima the other virtues meaning servitude meaning daspanu nirmani panu many many virtues also can be acquired by performing the seva it's also said in the other vachanamrits let we say what says maharaj in 28th vachanamrita gorada middle chapter the only method to please god is to serve the duties of god by thought word and deed moreover this is the words of sri maharaj himself in order to please god i only desire to serve duties of god in this life and all subsequent lives Furthermore, just as this is my resolution, all of you should also make the same resolution. And third point, one who serves the Sant will earn God's favor and will certainly stay near God. We want to stay near God. We have to do seva. If we want to please Bhagwan, please Ekantik Sant, meaning Ekantik Satpurus, please our Santos and Bhaktos, then. Sri Ji Maharaj desired to serve devotees of God in this life and all the other lives. So, what about us? And Sri Ji Maharaj says the only method to please God, the only Sri Ji Maharaj says only method to please God is to serve the devotees of God by thought, word, and deed. Mm. So, if you want to please Bhagwan, then. we have to perform sir, seva of his ekantik satpurush so now we the thought immediately came to our mind we have attained ekantik satpurush in the form of puja guru ji right yes as in the previous katha puja dhyan swami said like whenever we listen the satpurush or ekantik satpurush or a great sadhu or great sant in the scriptures or in the katha we automatically should focus on the form of puja guru ji right so according to that the thought come to our mind the question arise in our mind puja guru ji is staying in india and moreover we cannot stay forever with him so how we can perform his seva by thought by word and by deed yes by thought we can think about him we can think his presence we can think what he had said to us we can think what he told us to do and not to do 
we can think about his actions we can think about his divine virtues so if by thought we perform these things then it said like we have performed his seva through our mind through, through our thought by word we can narrate we can explain the others about his divinity about his divine virtues about his prasangs we can talk with each other about his div- different prasangs what he said to us what he told you should do this you should not do this even sometimes we can also tell our own self like which guruji told you to do this so do not become lazy you should do this in this way we can even say our own self and by deed what puruji what would you guruji told us to do if we perform exactly according to his words then it is said we have performed the seva by deed so in this way we can easily perform seva of a great sat purush in the form of puja guruji by thought word and deed so it's not very complicated or tough task it's very easy task let we see whatever put uh, whatever all the sadguru santos from our guru parampara they understood and they behave for the seva how their behavior and how, and how their attitude towards the seva put uh, if we know about our adi gurudev muktanand swami muktanand swami we know about his life like he was 23 years older than sri ji maharaj himself so now i am going to tell you one charitra like very short story regarding muktanan swami's prasang muktanan swami's life story but think how muktanan swami 23 year more older than nilkanthani or sri ji maharaj so muktanan swami he himself performed a special kind of seva for sri ji maharaj and that is the seva of uh, collecting a fine dust for washing sri ji maharaj's hands you all the devotees know about santos dharam niyam like whenever you are staying in outside of the new jersey state then santo would might be come to your house and you uh, santo uh give instruction to keep banami powders why santo would use those powder for washing their hands in in uh, in, in india and in uh, at that time there were no such kind of facilities so according to our tradition from the time of sri ji maharaj even mo- from the time of thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years that was the tradition like when you were one used the bathroom one has to use uh, one used to wash one's left hand for 10 times and both hands for seven times and feet for three times with using the dust yes so sri ji maharaj also followed this tradition so every day sri ji maharaj also need there is dust and muktanand swami knew about sri ji maharaj delicate divine body like and because of his devotion for sri ji maharaj muktanand swami thought in his mind like if the regular dust would give to sri ji mara then his hands might be hurt because of some small pebbles and we know about the dust so because of that sri ji mara's hands would be damaged or hurt so instead of that if i give him very fine dust then it's very easy for him to use the dust while washing his hands so muktanand so what he would do like muktanand so he used his cloth the cotton cloth 
and put the dust inside. He himself saved this dust and passed fine, very fine, extremely fine dust out of this cloth. In this, it's very tough and like a time consuming seva, but still Muktanam Swami was performing this seva. Muktan Swami didn't think like I was about 50 or uh, more more than 50 years old and Sriji Maharaj and the other santos, Sriji Maharaj has more other santos, they can perform this seva, but still Muktan Swami has a mahima, he understood the glory of the seva and he specially performed this seva, I understood, I believe in myself, like he performed this seva to give us the message, like to perform the seva, one do not consider one's age. One should not consider the position. One should not consider how he was be respected in society. One should not be for performing the seva. One should never consider how old or he is the older than the others. Or one should not think in this way like the others do. Is they can perform this? I do not need to do this. Do not think in this way. That's why Muktan Swami himself collect this extremely fine dust for Sriji Maharaj. Even we think like these prasangs can be written for uh, when Sriji Maharaj only 30 years old. Then how Muktan Swami's age was? Muktan Swami was more than 50 years. If Sriji Maharaj was 35, then Muktan Swami was 55 plus. If Sriji Maharaj was at 40, then Muktan Swami was at his 60 or more, more 60 plus. So, even though in such old age, Muktan Swami was performing this seva for Sriji Maharaj, he did not need to clean his antakaran or he did not need to like cleans his thoughts or mind. He did not need this seva for like remove worldly desires. He did not have those things. He was directly coming, descended from Akshardham for us. Still he was performing this seva. Now think in our mind. Like am I doing the same seva, like same kind of seva? meaning with the same eagerness if not then we should try we should start okay this is what from Muktan and Swami's life let me see what Puja Guruji says in the Kalyan Kanika in Kalyan Kanika Puja Guruji says wherever one's heart believes in the presence of Ekantik Sadhpurus one will attain God, then one should serve the Ekandik Sadhpurus affectionately by becoming submissive and avoiding egotism. Puja Guruji adds these two things because of his experience. Like he, many times he had seen in the satsang, like the people, meaning the devotees or sadhus, they were performing seva, but without affection, and without becoming submissive and without avoiding the nature of egoist. So, Puja Guruji says in this Vat, like we should perform Ekandik Satpuru Seva. How? First one is affectionately, meaning should have affectionate, uh, affection for Ekandik Satpuru, first thing. Second thing, we should become submissive. This is the important. Like in Seva, it is not like that. Uh, Bhagat, it is not like that Swami or Santo has to say you like, Bhagat, uh, you, have, you told me to give this Seva complete, uh, you told me to uh, complete this Seva on this time period and the time period passed and you still not given me this. If sadhus had to do this, meaning sadhu had to tell this, then it is said we are not submissive. Or sometimes 
sadhus have to say to us like Bhagat, if you are free then you have to do this I have this much seva mandir has this much seva no you if you are free then you have to ask sadhus like Swami is there in seva I am free from this date to this date I have vacation and I am free so in this way we have to become a submissive and moreover sometimes while performing seva no doubt we have asked sadhus and sadhus give us the seva or the elder devotees they given us the seva and then what happened sometimes while performing the seva whatever kind of seva that doesn't matter but sometimes while performing the seva we are using our buddhi meaning if sadhus they told us not to do do this while performing seva and we are performing the same thing why because we think in our mind what happened if we perform this way or that way suppose sadhu said you should arrange the chairs in the hall but you should start first this portion and then this side then our buddhi automatically emerge and our buddhi told us like what happened if we perform if we arrange chairs on first on this side and then on this side swami had only swami need only to arrange the chair that's it no that is called our dhapan that is called our uh, like we do not becoming uh, we do not become submissive and that nature bhagwan would never pass he said you yeah, are even though you have performed the seva but still it is not considered as seva meaning we should have to give up mannu dharyu mannu dharyu chhodvuj pade so if we become submissive then sadpurush become please upon us and finally puja guru ji say avoiding egotism sometimes while performing seva or after performing seva we have some might be naturally or might be some human nature or universal nature for the human we don't know but that thing happen to the most of the devotees and mind like i have arranged the chairs i have sweep the floor i have vacuum in the mandir hall then we become pleased for our own self we should be pleased like i have bhagwan gave me a chance santo gave me a chance bhaktos gave me a chance to sweep the floor or clean the mandir vacuum the mandir hall it's my fortune it's their krupa upon me this is what we should think but what we think in our mind like today i have cleaned the mandir see no, all the other devotees are present here in the mandir but still they were all talking with each other and they were like walking here and there but not performing this seva and i have performed this this is called our ego moreover sometimes this is um, merely basic things just to give idea what kind of egotism arise or happen while performing seva but sometimes what happen while performing seva to our elder devotees senior devotees they came to us bhagat you are told to do this but now it's okay this bhagat can do this seva better than the other devotees even better than you so now you are start uh, you you are switching your seva you, you can switch this seva and you can do this instead of doing this instead of making a video now you can uh you can take a love of katha varta or san samaga or, or you can do the other seva in the kitchen like serving or mopping the hall in this way then at that time if we have egotism in our mind or if we are performing those seva of making video for getting some 
uh, respect or getting some honor in this satsang, then we definitely hurt in our mind. Like, why Swami told me to do this? I can know better than him. He is a new one. And I have an experience for last three years. So this is called as performing seva with egotism. So we have to remove all these things. Because while performing seva, these three obstacles always happen. And Puja Guruji, he told us to uh, become cautious about these three, thing, three things. Like, do not seva without affection. Meaning sometimes many devotees and many sadhus, they have, they perform the seva like, just uh, like becoming like, machine they have just as one has set a mechanism and the machine performing the task no not like that we have to think about maharaj ekandik satpurus the importance of seva like this seva i have attained that is my great fortune that why because even it is said in the vachanamrut like the Seva of Bhagwan Sekantik Satpurus or Sant cannot be attained even by Bhav Brahmadik Devo. So it is very rare. It is not easy task to get. And I, I, I am very fortunate to attain this Seva. So in this way we have to think while performing Seva. Not like just it is said to me and just I have to finish it. It is not this is seva but it is not a perfect seva it is called as seva without affection but if we have to do seva with affection then we have to think in this way like this seva cannot be attained by Bhavra Madhik Dev and this is given to me so in this way According to Puja Guruji's perspective, if we do this, then Bhagwan would become pleased upon us and all the Sadhguru Santos and Maharaj along with the, all the devotees and all the Adam Parivar Bhaktos become pleased upon us. And moreover, let we see what's our Puja Dada Guruji's perspective for the Seva. Next. Yes, Puja Dada Guruji eager to provide service to others. We know Pujya Dada Guruji's whole life is like it is like uh, just as we can say his life full with the seva. Why? Because when he entered the satsang from the next day he began the seva while staying in Junagar as a Popat Bhagat, meaning as a Parsad, he woke up early in the morning and from till late night, most of the time in the day, he passed with the Seva. He fetched water for the Santo, for bathing them, even those who are ill and senior sadhus, Pujya Dada Guruji, he himself gave them warm water and even helped them to take a bath. Moreover, he washed their clothes. Then after doing darshan of arti and stuti, performing stuti, he again went to Gausara. There he performed seva. And after that, he also performed the other sevas. And when at the, after the time of lunch, Again, he listened the kathas in the Sabamanda. Then, again, in evening session, he also performed the sevas. Meaning, he is life full of seva in Junagar. And we know uh, as a parsad, every time uh, the parsad bhaktos, they have to do seva more than the others in the Mandir. So, Dada Guruji was performing that kind of seva in Junagar. But, not only that, But even when Pucha Dada Guruji 
was there in the other places like Kasi when he was with his Guru Gansyam Jyundas Jiswami and at the time of Murti Pratishta Mahotsav in Kasi Mandir. So at the time there he was also performing the same uh, meaning even though place changed but still his nature, his inclination to do seva was not changed. That remained as it is. Meaning his eagerness to perform the seva remained the same. There he see here it is written Bhopad Bhagat felt more joy than ever in his heart in Kasi. Why? Because he thought to himself if there are more saints then I can do more seva and earn the Rajipo. In Junagar, he had to perform some elder and some uh, senior sadhu seva, some ill sadhu seva, but here he had to perform all the sadhu seva because we know during the Utsav Samaya there were a lot of seva. So Dada Guruji became happy and he thought in his mind like if there are more saints, then I got a chance to do more seva and if I got the chance to do more seva then I earn more and more the Rajipos. So this way Pobat Bhagat performed much seva for his Sadguru and if he got time after doing his Guru seva he would also do seva for other saints. He never got tired of doing seva nor was he discouraged by it. He was always in search of seva to please other saints. This is one important thing. While we are in mandir or whenever any utsav or samaya that happen in the mandir, so at the time we should be in search of seva. Because sometimes there were a lot of seva, but we are in our musti, meaning we are not even thought for the sevas. Why? I don't know. But sometimes... There are lots of seva, even we knew about that, like if uh, we even comment, we make a comment like that, if these devotees they are putting this table instead of here and th then here, then it look nice. See, devotees had throw the dust here, the garbage is near, but still they are not throwing the garbage inside. Bhagat, you are devotee you should think in such a way that the devotees and santos they are pleased upon me and because of that they are giving me this seva of cleaning of arranging the table and chairs and in this way we should think in such a way that it's my chance to do seva meaning Pujya Tata Guruji was always in search of seva And he has no selfish expectation behind his seva. He only has one thing like if I perform seva, my Sadguru become pleased upon me. That's it. He always performs seva to perform his own Sadguru, not to please the other people. Sometimes it also happens like if I perform this seva, then the other devotees and the other santos they were watching me while doing the seva, then they said, see, this Bhagat is performing good seva. This is not the way. We should always consider this thing in our mind, like I am doing this only to please my Sadguru, that's it, nothing else. This is what our Pujya Dada Guruji's life. See, in Vartal, every day Popat Bhagat woke up early, very early in the morning, and after showering, he completed his daily puja, and after that actual puja began, meaning his seva. He considered, his, he considered the seva as a part of his puja. Just as Sri Jimara said in the Vachnavru 25th or Garda Middle chapter, like just as Ukakacha has become addicted to the seva of sadhus, in the same way one should become addicted to the seva. And Puja Dada Guruji uh, followed those words of Sri Jimaraj. Dada Guruji was walking those words of Sri Jimaraj. So that's why it is written here like, his actual puja began. He swept the mandir grounds, did darshan of his guru, and 
for his daily puja he prepared flowers and tulsi patra and other things he was the uh, his guru's dotias and then cleans room and arrange the reading books then he went for mar shiva in gaushala after gaushala he went to the farm for cut for cutting and collecting grass for cows in this way he took a lunch and after that he was in katha even though while performing seva puja tata guruji's main virtue was that like he never missed katha nor did he missed any of his seva so he keep balance katha and seva so that if one keep both these things in one's life then there will be no problem or no obstacles happen in one's spiritual life in this way popat bhagat's whole day passed in doing seva listening katha and other god related activities so this is what puji dada guru ji's life full with the seva so now let you consider puji guru ji's life how he was performing seva see recently on the day of guru purnima many devotees from here us and uk and australia and also africa so the devotees they have sent wishes for guru purnima they have sent their messages audio messages as well as text message through whatsapp to puja guruji but we know about the days busy schedule meaning on the day of guru purnima from the early morning puja guruji was become very busy for performing puja dada guruji's puja and the other things after that the, for the whole day he has to pass with the other sadhus and also he had to engage himself for the guru purnima celebration and many devotees the local devotees they also came there for puja guruji's darshan and on that day no one can deny like why bhagat you are coming at this time that's the day of guru purnima so all the disciple have right to perform his guru's puja so no one can deny and devotees or sadhus so the whole day pass but at night when puja guruji go to sleep at the time before sleeping he give answer to each and every devotees each and every loyadam parivar bhakta who had sent him message and some devotees they call here santos like i got message from puja guruji or i got call from puja guruji 3:30 some said 4:30 at some said at 5 o'clock evening here on us time so think what was the time in india so puja guruji was performing our seva in this way like while waking for the whole night he was giving answer for our messages one can never get such a satpurush such a humble satpurush in one's life even sometimes it happen like we do not have affection for puja guruji then he has more affection for us than what the level we have for him even sometimes we think in our mind like we do not understand his glory but he understood he understand our glory sometimes we think in our mind like uh sometimes we feel we are not thinking for him but he always thinking for our betterment this is what his style to perform seva of his sadhus and devotees he perform all these things only to please us why because if we would get his answer even though that was the midnight or late night or even early morning in india still he woke up for the whole night why if you got messages then we got some new energy to walk on the path of bhagwan and that's why he performed this seva so remembering these things in our mind we should try to imbibe those virtues in our life 
and the other surakachar story i think you'll get the yuva course and you get uh, you should read this story of surakachar how he performed santosh seva in loyadam and in this way today's katha totally dedicated for the topic of seva and with the example of our adi gurudev muktanand swami with the example of puja dada guruji's life and puja guruji's life we should also try to imbibe the same virtues in our life and for that we should pray to all of the our sad gurus from our muktanandiya parampara and specially to our ishta dev thakur ji maharaj and surely patmika to liberation puja guruji's lotus feet like please provide me a divine strength so that i can also become addicted to do seva and by performing this seva i can eradicate all bad and vicious natures from within and as my andakaran would become clean then you yourself stay forever in my heart by saying this my humble jai swami narayan sri ganshyam maharaj ni jai श्रीपतिम श्रीधरम सर्वेश्वरम भक्तिधर्मात्मजम वासुदेव हरि माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्रीघनश्याम महाराज नी जय